In the fast evolving knowledge economy era, efficient knowledge learning has become a crucial success factor and driving force to achieve a sustainable competitive advantage for ta talent development. Recently, the emergence of online knowledge management systems such as Viva and Slack has assisted employees with knowledge learning and project collaboration as one of the pivotal tasks in online KMS. Tracking the knowledge development process of employees benefits proactively understanding their knowledge state and planning their future knowledge learning for promoting career progress and stability. Uh, existing studies mainly focus on the knowledge state of students in the education area. Early arts were proposed to utilize Bayesian methods to assume that student knowledge is represented as a set of binary variables. Recently, researchers have will leverage deep learning techniques to update the knowledge states of students with such information. However, these methods do not consider the employees' knowledge development based on their work collaborations and ecological situation in workplaces. In contrast to previous methods, we focus on the prediction for employees with new challenges. Indeed, knowledge development is a complicated process that involves the hybrid knowledge learning of employees, including collaborative and self-learning. Figure 1 shows an example. After the hybrid learning, employee A acquires several new pieces of knowledge, which may come from different kinds of learning patterns. Apart from the hybrid learning process, knowledge development can have inherent rules. On the one hand, co-occurrence relationships exist between job knowledge because work generally requires employees to learn multiple pieces of specific knowledge simultaneously. On the other hand, knowledge is often learned from the shallow to the deeper. Motivated by this, we intend to model and predict the knowledge development of employees from a hybrid learning perspective with considerations of knowledge development rules. However, it is not trivial to model this hybrid learning for knowledge development prediction. First, job knowledge development is jointly influenced by multiple learning patterns and collaborators. These complicated situations make it difficult for the model to see the pathways to job knowledge acquisition. Second, it is difficult to model employees' ability to transfer and receive concrete knowledge and how they influence knowledge flow in collaboration. Third, uh, cap capturing the relationships between job knowledge for leveraging the inherent rules of knowledge development is challenging. Um, the definition of knowledge development prediction is as follows. For an employee, given an employee profile feature, a set of knowledge mastery states, and a set of collaboration re records, knowledge development prediction targets to predict the future acquired knowledge set. Uh, to concur for mentioned challenges, we propose a collaboration-aware hybrid learning approach, CHL, illustrated in Figure 3. CHL consists of three main modules, job knowledge embedding, employee embedding, and hybrid learning simulations. In job knowledge embedding module, to fully harness the inherent rules of job knowledge, development to and learn better job knowledge representations. We design an association prompt attention mechanism to capture the co-occurrence relationships and prerequisite relationships between job knowledge. We first exploit this a uh, graph stage to represent initial features of knowledge based on the relationships. Then an association from the attention mechanism is invented to promote co-occurrence and prerequisite relationship learning. For each job knowledge, we measure the similarity between the projected feature embedding and the association prompt embedding and average them as attention weights. After that, we obtain the final job knowledge embeddings with attention widths.
In employee embedding module, we aggregate the features of mastery knowledge and work collaborators to represent the employees. The state of knowledge mastery portrays the current knowledge structure of the employees, which allows inferring more accessible knowledge based on already acquired knowledge. Typically, collaboration records of employees indicate the collaborators and collaboration frequency. Here, we intend to consider the few features of work collaborators for better employee representation. After aggregating knowledge mastery and the collaboration features, we concatenate them and make another transformation for employee representation. In the real world, job knowledge learning is in the form of hybrid learning, including collaborative learning and self-learning. We model the collaborative learning process in terms of knowledge flow. Specifically, the outflow and inflow score functions are invented to quantify an employee's ability to transfer and receive concrete knowledge. Collaborators can only transfer the knowledge they have acquired. Hence, we design the S3 score function by the dot product operation. With the score of knowledge mastery, we further design the order flow score function with collaborator features and collaboration frequency. The order flow score function indicates the probability that collaborator EX transfers the job knowledge KG to employee EI. CXI is the normalized collaboration frequency between EX and EI. Usually, the contribution of knowledge acquisition may come from multiple collaborators in multiple collaborations. Considering the cumulative contribution, of multiple collaborators with employee features. We, we specially design a GRU cell structure to quantify an employee's ability to receive knowledge. The employee embedding SI is the input and the cumulative contribution is treated as the hidden vector of the GRU cell. FIEIKJ denotes the inflow score function for employee EI to receive knowledge KJ. Furthermore, we set a constrained contrastive loss for knowledge flow by view viewing knowledge that cannot be transferred by collaborators as negative samples. For self-learning simulation, we deem that employee characteristics influence knowledge acquisition. The uh, personalized knowledge acquisition function is developed according to the employee profiles. Finally, the sum of the inflow score and uh, for collaborative learning and the personalized knowledge acquisition score for self-learning is the output to predict the probability of acquiring acquiring new job knowledge. The overall objective is designed to up update the model parameters as follows. <coughs> For the experiments, we used a real-world data set sourced from an online KMS provided by a high-tech company spanning the year 2018 and to, to 2020. Here is the statistics of data set. Since knowledge data were collected from annual records, we select a one-year time interval to an, an analyze changes in employee state. The data set is divided as follows. We adopt a precision at K and normalize the discounted cumulative gain at K to evaluate the performance. The compared best baselines can be grouped into three categories. First, we select the most fre frequent knowledge by statistics as popularity. And second, we compare methods modeling the knowledge mastery state of employees by homogeneous and the general recommendation methods. Third, we compare methods integrating knowledge mastery state and the collaboration records by heterogeneous GN and social rec recommendation methods. 
the performance comparison is shown in table one. From the overview, CHL consistently outperforms all baselines in terms of all evaluation metrics. This shows that CHL can effectively model employees' knowledge flow with collaborative networks and explore multiple relationships of job knowledge to verify mm -hmm. the contribution of each component. We design the three groups of variants as follows. First, uh, removing co-occurrence relationship, prerequisite relationship, and association prompt attention mechanism in JKE module. Second, removing knowledge mastery state and collaboration state in EE module. Third, removing collaborative learning, self-learning, and flow constraint loss in HLS module. And figure four shows the performance of these variants which demonstrates the effectiveness of each component. In JKE and the EE module, we design the LR and the LS layer aggregation, respectively. Therefore, we study the impact of LR and LS on the model performance. Here, we select the range of 1 to 5. Uh, figure 5 shows the P at 5 and N at 5 scores. The results indicate that CHL performs at it, its best when the number of layers in both aggregation operations is set to 2. We present two typical cases from the testing results. The results indicate that collaborative learning is influenced by the cumulative impact and multiple collaborators. And different collaborators exhibit varying abil abilities in transferring knowledge outward. Besides, a higher frequency of collaboration does not necessarily result in a higher probability of transferring job knowledge and knowledge acquired prim primarily through collaborative learning is more likely to be transferred by collaborators. And the above is a brief introduction to our work. Thank you for listening.